in this episode, we're going to be talking about one of the most effective ways to practice sculpting. It just liberates you. It, it, it changes the way you think. Wait, hold up. Let's rewind. Hey, how you guys doing? My name is Yan. In this episode, we're going to be talking about one of the most effective ways to practice sculpting that I just started implementing in my workflow. Now, if you guys don't know, I have another channel where I do a 10K challenge and I'm learning a lot of stuff over there. So you guys definitely gotta go check it out. It's in a link in the description below. And I basically take what I learned over there and try to implement it to my sculpting environment. So here's the trick. It's really quite simple. It makes a lot of sense. Speed sculpts. However, here's the thing, right? Here's the difference. What I did a while ago is I started doing some speed sculpts, but I didn't really limit the time. All I knew is I wanted to make it really fast. So it'll take me around two to three, maybe four hours when I first started to get a decent head sculpt. And that's how long I stayed around sculpting one character. Here's the issue though. Each character, you know, the time varied. It could take me two hours. It could take me four hours to get a decent result. And then sometimes, I get really attached to that work that I did and I push it even further and then what happens here is that I don't end up really practicing as often as I should and if you guys watched my last video I talked about how important it is to fail at art and it's also important not to be too attached to your work. So here's what I came up with and I started it and it's really really cool. So I thought of this after I did the one hour challenge stream on this channel, you can also check that out. Anyways, just. Let's stick to this video and focus. Here's what I did. I set one hour exactly to sculpt a character. So I had the sphere ready, I had the program ready, and I, I just started the timer, started recording, and I started sculpting the character that you're seeing in the background. Now, the rules I gave myself was one, I have exactly one hour to do it. Whether it sucks, whether it's good, doesn't really matter. By the time one hour is done, I stopped the time the, st the stopwatch or, or I, I had the timer. So I stopped the timer and that's it. That's where we stop, right? No, there's no way, no way that I'd continue after that. That is the rule, okay? And that is very important because it'll teach you one, how to let go. A lot of people have a hard time letting go. They call themselves, you know, you've heard it. You've called yourself that, I've called myself that perfectionist and I really think a lot of people need to learn how to control that because it's quite important to be able to control it. So what you do is you take out a character, you know, put a timer one hour, not more. Even if you don't have the skill to get a character done in an hour, that's not the point. You'll get there with this kind of practice. So you put one hour and you just sculpt the character and go. And it's really fun. It's exciting. You can't really get attached to the character because one after one hour you're done. And by the way, you're not allowed to continue that character. That character is for the only purpose of practicing, which means if you want to create a character and push it further and make it look really good, you have to create a different character, a different project. That's going to be something else. So no matter how good the character turns out and you know, you're looking at the character and you're like, oh, you know, this could be a really awesome character later on. No, that's the rule. That's, that's the main point. Okay. You don't get attached to your work. It's only for practice purpose and it'll teach you a lot of stuff. So one, you'll learn how to, you know, you'll sculpt anatomy parts over and over again. So if you do at least one hour per day, right? Well, the point is doing one hour per day. And let's say you do five to seven times a week. Now you're gonna practice five to seven head sculpts. And that's a lot. Like a lot of people would sculpt one character per month. Some would take one character per two. Well, someone, some will sculpt two characters per month. It is almost 12 a.m. and I gotta do this video and record it and, and edit it. So I do apologize if I'm slipping with my words right now. I don't really have time to redo it because I gotta post it in a few hours tomorrow and anyways my point is just do this kind of practice i'm telling you guys you're gonna learn a lot i just started it recently and just doing one of it really liberates it just liberates you it, it, it changes the way you think and keep on doing it keep on practicing and let me know in the comments below you know what do you guys think of this method have you tried it before if you haven't are you gonna try it and if you're gonna try it, you know keep me posted let me know what's going on i really like to read and when my viewers, my subscribers, you guys, when you guys follow the advice that I give you and you tell me 
you know did it help you did it not help you what what what's happening with you guys let me know in the comments below i'm gonna stop right here because yeah i'm getting really tired and need to sleep and uh, that's it for this video don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe you know how it goes and i'll see you guys in the next video